Hello everyone, welcome to Idea Box Creations and today in this video I'll show you how you can use the Woo single product widget of Powerpack add-on for Elementor. With this widget, you can display a single WooCommerce product on your website in no time. Before we can jump into the tutorial, make sure you have these three plugins installed and activated on your website. You can find the links to these plugins in the description below. Alright, so to add a WooCommerce single product on your website, first of all you need to select the page where you want to add it. You can essentially add it anywhere on the website. For this tutorial, I'll be recreating this design and I'll be going through every feature and option of the widget. So as usual, open the page where you want to add the single product widget using the Elementor editor. Now look for the Woo single product widget. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner of the widget. That means Powerpack's single product widget. Now simply drag and drop the widget on the page where you want to add it. At first you will see a display like this. This is because there is no product selected in the settings. So go to the content tab and in the product subsection select the product that you want to display. Upon selecting the product, all the details of the product that are enabled will start showing up on the page. Next, you can choose if you want to show the product's title, price, rating, rating count or short description. Now going back to the first subsection, you can choose from four different skins. All the skins have different alignment of the image, text and the heading. If your product is on sale, you can customize the sale badge from the third subsection. For this tutorial, I'm going to disable this. Now for the button or the CTA button, you can choose to go with the add to cart button but if you want to have a custom button you can do that too and add your own custom link. You can hide or show the product image as well and if you want to show it you can choose a custom size that will fit the design of the website. And lastly for the product meta details you can choose if you want to show the SKU or the taxonomy. Now once you are done with the content tab, head over to the style tab to make some styling adjustments to the single product widget. Here you get four subsections, box, content, button and typography. Let's start with the box. You can change the background color, background hover color, padding, borders and alignment. For the content of the widget, you can change the padding and if you have variations table enable, you can add a custom styling to those two. Now let's come to the CTA or button customization. Here you can change the typography, width and for the normal and hover effects you can add a custom text color, background color, body type and can customize the margin and padding. Let me make these changes quickly so the design of the button is aligned with the overall design of the page. Now lastly, to customize the typography of almost every element of the widget, you can make those changes from the typography tab. Let's start with the title. You can choose the title tag and for typography, you can make all the basic adjustments such as choosing the font family, changing the size, font weight, transformation style and if you want to add any decoration, you can do that too. If you have the ratings count enabled, you can customize the typography of that section as well. Just like that, you can make changes to the regular price as well as the sale price of the widget. Now lastly, let's make changes to the short description. Here I'm going to change the font style and the font family. To make the content more appealing, I'm also going to change the font weight and the font size. If you have variations table enabled for your product, you can make customizations for that from the settings at the end of the style tab. Now once you are done making all the changes, you just need to go ahead and click on the update button and see your single product widget live on the page. Do keep in mind that this is still connected to WooCommerce so if you make any changes to your WooCommerce product description, product quantity, stock, etc. it will also be reflected on the Woo single product widget. 
Do let me know what you think of the single product widget and if you found this video useful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more amazing Elementor related content.